Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about something a little technical that will help you be a better presenter and communicator. Microphones. And specifically, I'm going to be talking about why academics, scientists, and evaluators need a microphone. All right, so just in case you're new to my channel, I'm Dr. Echo Rivera, and basically I can't wait to make you an awesome presenter as quickly as possible and while having as much fun as possible. And I do things like professional development for academics, scientists, researchers, and evaluators. I have one-to-one -one video calls and online courses and group trainings. So I'm wondering, have you ever thought, well, I'm an academic or, you know, scientist, evaluator, researcher, you know, I'm an academic, so. I do not need, does not need a, microphone. a microphone. Well, I'm here to tell you that's wrong. You do need a microphone. And so you're probably wondering, wait, don't you talk about presentation, presentation design? Why are you talking about microphones? Well, the thing is, bad audio is really painful to listen to. Humans can handle really terrible video much more than we can handle bad audio. And again, just in case you're new to my channel, what I say is that effective communication is about communicating your information in ways that increase the likelihood that your audience will pay attention to you, understand, remember, and use the information you share. That's kind of hard to do if you have such bad audio that people don't even want to listen to you. It's painful or it's annoying. It's grating. So if you're listening to my channel, you're watching my videos and you're really improving your presentations and you have, you know, better graphs and that kind of thing, it's not going to matter if your audio is so bad that they don't even want to listen to you. Now, if you want more tips on how to communicate effectively and creatively, then be sure to sign up for my free email newsletter, The Communication Cafe. The link is down below. And all right, I want to make something really clear. If you are at a conference, you need to use the mic. No exceptions. Know your voice is not loud enough. Use the mic. But that's actually not what I'm talking about in this video. In this video, I'm talking about having a microphone for your office. And this surprises a lot of the people that I work with, you know, academics, scientists, evaluators, researchers, again, that group mistakenly think that they don't need one. You know, when I'm watching a webinar, it's obvious they don't have a microphone. When I'm listening to a podcast where a scientist is being interviewed, again, it's obvious they are not using a microphone. So it's pretty widespread that people think that they don't need one if they aren't, you know, in a band or something. So that's why I'm talking about it today, because chances are you thought you've never needed one. So I'm going to give you examples of when it actually makes sense for you to have a mic. Okay, so do you do video calls like Skype or Google Hangouts or Zoom? Well, if you are not using a mic, the people in that meeting, other meeting attendees, they are going to have very unhappy ears. I do a lot of video calls every single week and most people don't have a mic and it can be really difficult to hear or understand people. So when you do have a mic, other people on that meeting are going to be so much happier. The sound is going to be a lot smoother. It's going to be better for the ears and the video meeting itself is just going to run a lot smoother. Do you do webinars? <laughs> okay, your webinar attendees, people trying to watch your webinar, listen to your webinar, they're going to have very unhappy ears if you aren't using a mic when you share that information. Webinars are long. That's like 60 minutes, 90 minutes, and that can be really hard on the ears over all that time if the audio is not good. So when you're doing a webinar, you want to make sure that you are using a real microphone. You want to have good audio because you're sharing really important information. Here's another example. Online courses. They're becoming a lot more popular and a lot of people are doing more online courses. And when you don't use a mic, your students are suffering. Just plain old suffering. That's ours and hours and weeks of terrible audio when they're trying to learn something. And usually even for a grade, that's really difficult on the students if the audio is not good. It's very painful. 
So if you do an online course, use a mic because then your students will be better able to actually process and understand the information because they'll want to listen to you. They won't be fighting just to kind of get through that bad audio just to hear your message. I have more examples. How about you're interviewing for a job, for example? Um, This is another situation where a lot of people probably don't think to get a mic before they do that, you know, Skype, Zoom, or video call, even though it's a really important interview. And you want to make sure that your sound is good. Because again, it's probably really rare for applicants to have a good mic. So when someone finally does, the hiring committee is probably so happy that the sound coming from their applicant is actually really good and it's, it's clear and it's easy to listen to. Now, I know it's hard to get a job. I'm not saying that this is going to get you the job. Jobs are really scarce, especially in academia, but you know, it can't hurt to have audio that they actually want to listen to. And it can't help to have such bad audio that they don't want to listen to you. Okay. So that's why having a mic is so important, even for an interview. Okay. One more example. So there are just more examples when you're just going to have listeners. So again, this is when you are being interviewed for a podcast or a YouTube channel, or you have a podcast or a YouTube channel. So whoever your listeners are, they're going to be very unhappy if you don't use a mic. How many times have you tried to listen to a podcast where there was a guest interview and it was just so annoying to listen to because the audio of the interviewee was just so terrible. You get irritated and probably don't even listen to the full podcast or don't remember a lot from the podcast because of that bad audio. I know you've heard this before. I know you know what I'm talking about. It's it's tinny. It's distorted. There's a lot of static. It just does not make for a good listening experience, which is why when you do use a mic and you have clear crisp, excellent audio, all those listeners are going to be thrilled and they're probably going to remember your interview more than others. They're going to enjoy it more. They're going to remember more information. It's totally worth it if you plan on doing things like science communication and getting your work out there and doing interviews. Have a mic so you sound good. So I realize that by now you still might not believe me that a mic is actually worth it and important to have in your day-to-day work. So let me just do a little demo for you. So, so far I've been using this fancy mic. I'm renting it from Guitar Center to test it out. It's called an Electro Voice RE20. It may not be perfect. Again, I, I, this is pretty much the first time I've used it, but still like it's, it's very clear sounding, right? And it sounds high quality. So let's compare it to what you're using if you don't have a mic. Okay, so I have taken away my mic, it's gone, and I'm just using my computer audio. So how does this sound? What do you think? Especially when I'm, you know, I get loud and soft. So this is what it sounds like when I don't have a mic and I'm just using my computer. Okay, let's give your ears a break from that terrible audio. (laughs) Am I right? So what you should have heard are things like, You know, there's just like a lot of background noise that's happening. There's a lot of distortion. It's harder to hear. I don't sound as clean and crisp with my audio. Okay, so that was one comparison. That's just the computer mic. Let me show you another one. All right, I got rid of my mic again. And this time I'm testing my webcam mic. So this is a Logitech C922. So maybe you think, oh, well, you know, they say they have a mic in there. Maybe that will do a good job. And again, let me give you a test so you can see what you think. And again, my fan is going and I'm curious if this is going to show up on the recording. So yeah, this is what a webcam mic sounds like. All right, let me let me go back and give your ears a break. Again, we've got this nice mic compared to that audio. What do you think? Again, you should notice a very clear difference, especially when I, you know, go up and down in volume like I do in a lot of my videos because I get so excited about presentation design <laughs> or I laugh and I do that kind of thing. You know, that's what these mics can handle really, really well. Whereas other bad audio really sounds terrible, especially when that happens. All right, I'm going to do one more example for you. 
All right, last time, the mic is gone, and now I'm using what is probably the most popular alternative to a real mic, Apple headphones. And I have the old school ones, I don't have the new ones, but I still people using these a lot, which means people know that they should be using some type of microphone and not just their computer, and they think that this is doing the job, and I'm here to break the bad news, I'm so sorry, but it's really not. And you can probably tell just by listening to this sample. I'm not doing anything to make this sound worse than normal. I plugged it in and I started talking. So, and this is how I normally talk. If anything, I sometimes get even louder and softer and yeah, hopefully that didn't hurt. So here's what it sounds like with bad audio with just Apple headphones and why you need a mic. All right. The bad audio test is officially done. All right, back to this high quality mic. So what do you think? Have I done a good job of showing you the difference between no mic and an actual good mic? I really hope so. So let's kind of talk about this next question I know that you have is, which mic should you buy? Okay, you do not need an expensive mic like this. There are definitely more affordable ones and ones that I've been using for years. I just happen to be upgrading right now, which is why I'm testing this one. So I have made another video. It's not gonna be on this one, but I test four mics for you. And the first two, that Audio-Technica and that Blue Yeti, those are around $100. So they're not $450 mics. Now, I do also test higher priced ones that I'm renting from Guitar Center, that Shure, and this RE20. So watch that video so you can hear what all of those mics sound like to help you choose which one works for you. And I want to say that there is so much more information about mics out there, and my favorite YouTube channel is Booth Junkie. I also want to give a shout out to Heather Ackman for helping me figure out a lot of this audio stuff. So check out her channel too. And if you're a member of my online course, then hop into our private community so you can get the links to all of the images that I've used in this video. Okay, just some stats for today's video. I made everything in PowerPoint, Office 365 in November, 2019. All of the visuals were free and legally used and I did not find a single one using Google Images because you shouldn't be using Google Images. And this had 45 slides that you've seen in this video. Now I do have a free online course that teaches you how to find and, and build up a visual database of free visuals. So check that out if you are interested. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hoped that this helped you and helped convince you to get a mic so you can have better audio. And if so, please like, share, and subscribe and comment below which you which you, which which audio do you think sounded the worst <laughs> that I showed you. And be sure to check out my free online courses. And again, hop on my email newsletter so you can get, you know, exclusive content like that. All right. Well, this, that, that's it for today's video. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.